Hello students, today's topic is serine and threonine metabolism. So serine is an aliphatic hydroxyl group containing amino acid and non-essential and glucosinic amino acids. I told you the synthesis of serine. So I will discuss about the utilization and the function of serine. Utilization and function. Number one, it forms a one carbon group which is methylene methylene tetrahydrofolic acid so first serine is converted into glycine this is a reversible reaction where tetrahydrofolic acid converts into methylene tetrahydrofolic acid it is catalyzed by the enzyme serine hydroxymethyl transferase. Next is it forms glucose. Serine gets dehydrated by serine dehydratase. to form pyruvate pyruvate enters the glycolysis to form gluconeogenesis to form glucose next is alanine synthesis serine undergoes transamination with pyruvate to form hydroxypyruvate and alanine next is cysteine synthesis first homocysteine combines with serine to form cystathionine by cystathionine beta synthase and cystathionine undergoes lysine Lysis by lyase enzyme to form cysteine and homocerine. Next is choline synthesis. So glycine, serine and choline synthesis are interlinked. So they form a cycle known as glycine serine choline cycle number 5 is choline first serine undergoes decarboxylation by serine decarboxylase to form ethanolamine which undergoes methylation to form methyl ethanolamine which undergoes further methylation by methyl transferase enzyme to form dimethyl ethanolamine which undergoes another methylation by methyl transferase to form trimethyl ethanolamine which is also known as choline this choline is converted into betaine Betaine, which is also known as trimethyl glycine, it is catalyzed by the enzyme dehydrogenase. Dehydrogenase. Now betaine is converted into 
डायमीथाइल ग्लाइसिन डायमीथाइल ग्लाइसिन एंड मीथाइल ग्रुप इज रिलीज विच इज ट्रांसफार्ड टू होमोसिस्टिन टू फॉर्म मिथियन इन डायमीथाइल ग्लाइसिन गेट्स कन्वार्टेड इन टू मिथाइल ग्लाइसिन मिथाइल ग्लाइसिन विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज सार्कोसिन सार्कोसिन यर हाइड्रक्सी मिथाइल ग्रुप इज रिलीज बाय डिहाइड्रोजेनेज एंजाइम देन मिथाइल ग्लाइसिन कन्वार्ट इन टू ग्लाइसिन एगेन वन हाइड्रक्सी मिथाइल ग्रुप इज रिलीज बाय डिहाइड्रोजेनेज एंजाइम एंड ग्लाइसिन गेट्स कन्वार्ट इन टू सेरिन is released so if it is one carbon pool then it supplies the methyl groups and this one carbon pool is contributed by this methyl and hydroxy methyl groups okay so this is the glycine serine choline cycle now if choline is synthesized from serine then phosphatidylcholine can also be synthesized which is a phospholipid next is phospholipid synthesis phospholipid synthesis how phosphatidylcholine is produced first choline undergoes phosphorylation to phosphocholine ATP is required and it is catalyzed by the enzyme choline kinase phosphocholine gets converted into CDP choline by cytidyl transferase enzyme ctp is required cytidyl transferase then cdp choline gets converted into phosphatidyl choline phosphatidyl choline when it combines with 1 2 diacyl glycerol cmp is released this is catalyzed by the enzyme transferase phosphatidylcholine is also known as lecithin sorry lecithin okay some other phospholipids like phosphatidylserine sphingosin etc are also synthesized from serine next is it is an important component of protein so during covalent modifications proteins are get phosph proteins get phosphorylated and this phosphorylation usually occurs in serine number 8 is drugs there are some serine analogs synthetic serine analogs which act as drugs like azacerine azacerine it is an anti cancer drug then cycloserine it is an anti tubercular drug anti tubercular drug so this is about serine now threonine threonine is another hydroxyl group containing amino acid but it is essential amino acid and this is glucosinic amino acid so utilization and catabolism of threonine threonine number one 
synthesis of glycine by threonine allolase this reaction has already been discussed number two synthesis of glucose so first threonine undergoes deamination by threonine dehydrogenase it is similar to serine dehydrogenase reaction alpha keto butyric acid this is the keto acid of threonine it is alpha keto butyric acid undergoes decarboxylation to form propionyl coenzyme a then propionyl coenzyme a converts into there is a series of reaction i will tell you later how propionyl coenzyme a is converted into succinyl coenzyme a then succinyl coenzyme a enters the tca cycle ultimately it forms oxaloacetate and it can form glucose number 3 synthesis of glycine by glycine glycine it is also an important constituent of proteins and like serine it helps in the covalent modification that is phosphorylation of proteins by its hydroxyl group so this is all about serine and trionyl metabolism thank you